Did you know that there are eye drops that can be made from your own blood? It might sound like I'm going a little hard on the pumpkin spice this fall, but it's actually true. They're called autologous serum and they're used for patients with dry eye as well as other corneal problems. Today, we'll talk about their advantages, how exactly they're made, and what might make you a good candidate for using them. Welcome to Eye School with Dr. D, where my goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every week. You've made it to Eye School with me, Dr. D. Welcome. Today, I'd like to tell you about autologous serum eye drops. Before we get started, this channel is all about eye education, and I love to see my pupils interacting with each other in the comments, as well as asking me questions. If you found this video because you were searching for information on dry eye syndrome, I actually have a playlist that I'll leave here for you to check out somewhere. There's all kinds of education there about dry eye and blepharitis that I hope you'll find useful. So autologous serum eye drops are drops that are made from blood, specifically, um, if your doctor has recommended these drops, you will be the blood donor as well as the recipient using the blood product. That's right, your own blood is used to make these tears to treat your ocular surface. So why might a doctor recommend autologous serum eye drops? Well, the most common reason and the reason I typically prescribe them is due to dry eye and Sjogren's dry eye. I'll link my Sjogren's video up above. However, a number of other conditions might necessitate the use of autologous serum, like graft versus host disease, persistent epithelial defects like might occur in diabetes, herpetic disease, or even corneal burns. There's Stevens-Johnson syndrome, limbal stem cell deficiency, and others as well that your doctor may recommend these autologous serum blood eye drops for you. So let's review natural tears. Natural tears made by your body are full of ingredients that you may not have actually realized. Basal tears are the tears that are providing lubrication and contain water, mucin, lipids, proteins, electrolytes, growth factors, cytokines, and glucose. And that's a far cry from what we often think of tears as, which is just water. In fact, they're so far from just being water tears. Those tears really have a lot of different ingredients in them. And when we compare that to artificial tears that you can buy from the store, those are typically gonna contain lubricants like carboxymethylcellulose, hyaluronic acid, glycerin, propylene glycol, polysorbate, and many, many others. So while artificial tears from the store can provide temporary relief and are useful in many, many scenarios, I'll link my favorite artificial tears video above, they truly do, don't hold a candle to your real tears. So enter blood drops or autologous serum. Autologous serum drops made from your own blood are able to mimic the biochemical properties of your natural basal tears since they're made from your own blood. To get autologous serum, you first give whole blood, typically a good number of vials, usually six to 10, depending on the concentration that your doctor has recommended. Then that blood is gonna be separated by a centrifuge that's taking out the red blood cells from the serum, after which the serum component is diluted to the concentration specified by your doctor with sterile saline. The drops are then frozen, which is how they have to be stored by you as well until use. Autologous serum, therefore, because it's made out of the serum from your blood, contains proteins, growth factors, vitamins A and C, antioxidants, and electrolytes. The components actually are almost identical to those of basal tears, but they're typically in an increased concentration. So when might it be time to consider autologous serum instead of artificial tears? Well, typically if you've tried artificial tears, gels, ointments, and even used one of our prescription anti-inflammatory dry, dry eye drops like Restasis, Sequa, or Zydra, you might be a candidate. In other words, if conventional treatments have failed you, this could be a logical next step. Autologous serum is considered a second line therapy per DUES 2, and I made a whole video about the stepwise treatment that was laid out in the DUES report, so I'll make sure to link that above. So you can check out that video where I talk about that stepwise approach. 
That's what I follow in my office, and it's a logical way to think about the management of dry eye syndrome. And autologous serum is the, in the second step, along with the other things I like, like IPL, for instance. I'll link my IPL video above. Your doctor might recommend autologous serum drops for acute as well as chronic conditions. So we've been talking about it a lot in the context of dry eye, but it's very possible to be on them short term to promote healing in an eye that is otherwise not responding to treatment, or they could be used in long-term therapy like we're talking about for dry eye syndrome. Autologous serum has to be compounded under sterile conditions, which in the past was possible at most pharmacies, but there has been an increase in regulations, and so many pharmacies have stopped because it's no longer cost effective. In fact, early on in my practice, I worked with a compounding pharmacy, and I was able to just send patients over to that specific pharmacy. They could get their blood drawn at their doctor. We sent them to that pharmacy. But that actually stopped being an option with more regulations in place. And so now my practice and many other practices work with a company called Vital Tears. Vital Tears has made it very easy for your doctor to write the prescription. They have mo mobile phlebotomists that can come right out to your house. I will send the prescription and the correct concentration to Vital Tears, and the company then completes the rest of the process, including that blood draw, the preparation, and then the delivery. Vital Tears can compound autologous serum tears as a single supply, or they can even do it based on a subscription model. If the severity of your ocular disorder indicates that you need long-term treatment, then the subscription model is usually what patients will use to reduce the cost. So as you can see, blood eye drops aren't just for vampires. They're actually a really great way to heal the ocular surface using the power of your own body. If you've used our autologous serum drops, please leave me a note about it down below. I'd love to hear about your experience, as I'm sure would our other viewers. And that's going to be it for today's iSchool lesson. If you have dry eye, make sure to tune into the channel every week for new videos, because that's mostly what I make them about. I'll see you next time. Class is dismissed.